Today we're going to practice doing input and output tables where we need to write the rule. So our first table says it shows addition. Find the rule and type the correct number in the blank. For example, five. So we know that we're adding. So from this side to this side, we're adding. We need to find out what we're adding by. If we're starting by five, what am I adding to five to get to 12? Well, I know that five plus five equals 10. Hmm, so it can't be five, it has to be higher. I know that five plus six equals 11. So that means five plus seven has to equal 12. So let's check, is five plus seven 12? It is. Is seven plus seven 14? It is. And is nine plus seven 16? It is. So that means our rule is to add by seven. Let's try another one. The table is still showing addition. Okay, we have to type the correct number in the blank. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using facts I already know and use that as my starting point. So if I look at nine, I need to figure out nine plus what number equals 16. Well, one fact I know with nines is nine plus nine. Nine plus nine is 18. So 18 is too high. If I do nine plus eight, that gives me 17. So that means nine plus seven equals 16. So nine plus seven is 16. 11 plus seven, does that equal 18? Yes. And 12 plus seven equals 19. So our rule is to add seven. We're still doing addition here. Let's find the rule. We're going from four to 10, seven to 13 and 10 to six. Now, I'm gonna look down here at this bottom one because I like the 10. Tens are easy to add to. How far away is 10 from six? 10 plus what equals 16? Six. So 10 plus six is 16. Is seven plus six 13? Yes, it is. And is four plus six 10? It is. When you're doing these tables, it doesn't matter on these where you start to look for a clue to solve the problem. So I started on the bottom for this one because it was easier for me. This time we have three to 12, six to 15, and seven to 16. Again, we're doing addition. I'm going to look at three. And I'm gonna try 10 because I know that three plus 10, any number plus 10 is easy to add. That gives me 13, little too high. So what if I tried three plus nine? What would that give me? 12, that means 12 must be my answer. So I'm looking to add plus nine. So six plus nine is 15, and seven plus nine is 16. So my rule is to add nine. Next, we're doing addition again. Eight to 12, 10 to 14, and 11 to 15. Which is the easiest for me to start with? I'm always gonna look for a 10. 
So 10 plus what number is 14? 4. So let's see if the others work. Is 8 plus 4 12? Yes. And is 11 plus 4 15? It is. So our rule is to add 4. Next, this time we're doing subtraction, okay? So I have 6 to 4, 7 to 5, 11 to 9. Again, we're subtracting, okay? 6 minus what is 4? If I'm kind of stuck, I can use my fact family. If I know what 6 minus 4 is, that'll give me my answer. 6 minus 4 is 2, which means that goes there. So 6 minus 2 is 4. Is 7 minus 2, 5? Yes. How about 11 minus 2? Is that 9? Yes. So my rule is to subtract 2. And if you notice, I put the minus sign in before I typed it. We're doing subtraction again. This time we're going from 8 to 10, 13 to 11, and 17 to 15. I like the 10. 10 something 8. If I can do 10 minus 8, I can find out my missing number. It's 2, so I can take that 2 and put it here. Is 10 minus 2, 8? Yep. 13 minus 2 is 11, and 17 minus 2 is 15. So my rule is to subtract 2. Next, subtraction again. Okay, we're going from 15 to 5, 17 to 7, and 19 to 9. I love this one. If I have 15 and I take away 5, what do I have left? I'm using my fact family. 15 minus 5 equals 10. So that means 10 goes here. Is 17 minus 10 7? Yes, it is. And is 19 minus 10 9? It is. So my rule is to subtract 10. Let's do another one. We're doing subtraction again. We're going from 13 to 7, 6 to 10, and 20 to 14. Again, we're subtracting. Which one should I start with? I'm going to start with 16 minus 10 because look, I have that 10 over here. I love when I can work with 10s. So what is 16 minus 10? Using my fact family, 16 minus 10 equals 6. So is 13 minus 6, 7? Yes. Is 20 minus 6, 14? Yes. So my rule is to subtract 6. Again, one more with subtraction, 3 to 1, 5 to 3, 9 to 7. Well, I'm going to start right off with my 3 minus 1. Using my fact family to figure out what is missing. What is 3 minus 1? It's 2. 3 minus 1 equals 2. So I can flip it around. 3 minus 2 is 1, 5 minus 2 is 3, and 9 minus 2 equals 7. So my rule is to subtract 2. Great job today!